on every set of plans, on each individual plan sheet. Don't make the assumption that everything is the same measurements. Now, every single drawing, somewhere on it, is going to say what the size is. Does it matter? Yes, size matters. <laughs> In this case, size does matter. All right. This is the electrical plan. And see, it has a scale. So you look at that. It says scale, and that says quarter equals, and then some other gibberish. So what does that tell me? That tells me, they're meaning a quarter inch equals one, and the little line above it means one foot dash zero, and the two lines are mean inches. So whenever you see something like that, you can read that. Quarter inch equals one foot zero inches. Simple enough, right? You wouldn't want to read that and say quarter inch equals 10 inches because that's wrong. Or if you had a two there, that would be one foot two inches, not 12 inches. You do something like that and you're already messed up before you even start. All right, Joe, quarter inch equals one foot. Exactly what does that mean? Well, you get your tape measure out. And we're gonna measure this. This is where the toilet's gonna be, okay? That's called a water closet is what most toilets are called. And we're gonna look at this. And here's the wall, inside to inside, okay? We're gonna put our tape measure there. And I can, I just usually start it on an inch increment. I could start it at one, or I can put it at two or wherever, okay? So just follow this out, okay? So I'm right at two, and see where I'm at? I'm a sixteenth of an inch. That's why you gotta know how to read your tape measure, and I've got some videos for that. So see, we're an inch and a sixteenth, and every quarter inch we know is a foot, right? So a quarter inch, that's one foot, two feet, three feet, four feet, and that sixteenth measurement, if you know a quarter inch is a foot, then every sixteenth should be three inches, three, six, nine, twelve, three, six, nine, twelve. You see what I mean? So if you look at that, and your electrical plan says quarter inch equals one foot, zero inches, we know this room between this wall and that wall is what? Four feet, three inches. If that's what your answer was, give yourself a gold star. Wasn't that cool? Now your measurements might not always be quarter inch equals one foot, okay? This one just so happens to be quarter inch equals one foot. I've seen plans an eighth of an inch equaled one foot or three sixteenths equals one foot. So it's very important to note that. Now, why would that matter when you're doing electrical? Because all these walls are already gonna be up. They're all gonna be built and everything. So what difference does it make, you might say? Well, let's see if it does make a difference. Let's take this wall for example. Let's say you're going to install these receptacles. We know that's a duplex receptacle. That's one, that's one, that's one. And this is, this is a TV location right there, okay? And are you just gonna throw those up willy-nilly? No, you can take your your tape measure out, okay, like that. Let's hold that up there. And I'm just gonna kinda line that up with the door. I've gotta mark it somewhere, okay? So I can start right there. So I know from the edge of that door opening over to the first receptacle is how far? Is four feet, right? And then this one's at three feet further, so four feet, seven feet, eight, nine, nine feet over, and another four feet over to that from there, 
okay? So you go on the wall, you look where the, where the, uh, the studs are, or whatever, and then you mark out your plugs accordingly, and that's where you're going to lay those out. You're going to install those, those uh, wall outlet boxes. So I guess it does make a difference. 